Hey, welcome to this Windows channel. And uh, today we're going to talk about updates and the way Windows 10 is going to update itself. Um, it does scare some people. And um, in the general comments, you know, when I asked if people want to upgrade to Windows 10 or not, and um, first of all, a lot of people will upgrade. From what I see, uh, a lot of people seem to want to upgrade, even with Windows 7. So it's interesting to see that. But what came regularly in the comments while I was checking them out is, well, I don't want to upgrade because I'm scared of that Windows update thing where anytime you can have updates and have them installed. And here's an example. Since we have the build 10,240, it's actually been on that track of updates and you can see on the left side here this is my update history and you can see that apart from the fact that there are definition updates for defender which happens several times a day sometimes um, you can see that i've had security updates uh, one here there's uh, another one here and uh, another one here 19 so you could see that this is pretty much how it's going to work uh, we've had security updates pop up yesterday the day before and um, it's interesting because now it's the first time that we really have such updates that happen at you know pretty close together almost every day and I was thinking about you know how this is good or bad or what you know my, I'll give you my two cents basically of this at first I understand why people are scared and the reason the major reason why people are scared is simply because Microsoft did a lousy job very often of doing updates um, that you know can break your computer and um, it happened a few times last year and I think that's where a lot of people are scared another thing that people are scared on the updates are the fact that it you know, maybe some of the updates can break something and maybe the software or the way your computer works. And uh, that also is something to worry about. And a lot of people commented, well, you know, will there be updates right in the middle of my work and smack it's going to want to uh, install and restart. So here's the thing. First of all, I understand why people are scared of updates that are pretty much any time but they don't install immediately at any time. So basically Windows 10 works on a schedule and inside your computer you can actually set in the updates when updates are available. And uh, so you get your update but if you tell the computer I want them to install only at you know 10 p.m. at night that's pretty much the schedule that they're going to follow. They don't necessarily want to install immediately. Another interesting thing of these updates is that many of them installed silently without even my knowledge of them being installed. And that's also something interesting. And the only thing required to have them completely installed was a restart. And it's interesting because Windows 10 did not bother me with that, did not tell me, OK, I've just installed a security update and you need to restart now. So that's something you don't have to be scared of. I don't think that's going to happen, really. And from what I see is that these updates are really, really installing without your knowledge most of the time. And I actually like that for a, a simple reason, is that everything happens under the hood without even you noticing. And I think that's a good thing. I think that's a good thing because it doesn't bother w you with anything. You know, I remember in Windows 7 and Windows XP where we had these updates and that said, well, you need to up restart now or we'll give you an hour or four hours or, you know, you had to choose if you don't want to restart right now. Uh, that's not going to happen really in Windows 10 from what I see. And, you know, these things just install in the background and you don't see it. And um, basically, one of the security updates here, I noticed it was installed because when I restarted the computer, it said, well, OK, we're going to update and restart, which was nice. Another reason why I'm not that scared of these updates, I think 
that a lot of these updates might actually be sent to um, the insiders because you know what in on July 29th the insider program continues Microsoft will have a separate branch and insiders will continue to receive updates and I think that's interesting because the insiders will receive the updates the ones that want to have them immediately will have them and if something goes wrong well it's gonna go wrong with the insiders and they're gonna know it goes wrong and they're going to fix it before it gets to the main channel where everybody gets it so that's another reason why it might be interesting um, and safe to actually update the computer. Now there's no way to stop these. Uh, there's not going to be any on-off switch for updates. You know in the past versions of Windows we had that general switch we could go into the control panel and say well I don't want to have updates or I want to have updates only tell me there's updates but I'll install them when I want and that's gone. Now the general reason why that's gone, I'm not really sure because I think Microsoft could have sent us regular updates but given us a chance to wait and not install them immediately. At the same time, I think Microsoft, by doing this, wants to make sure everybody's really safe on the internet. Um, you know, one of the major things that updates fix is security holes that you can you know get exploited from by the internet and you know you'll have viruses or malware uh, go through these security holes and I think Microsoft understands one thing is that the people that don't update immediately are the people that often get bad malware or viruses that want to spread and they're the ones that are making the other Windows users at risk by doing this they try to make everybody secure. Now one concern I have, because I am a tech guy and I see this often, is what if at some point something goes wrong in the Windows Update and Windows 10 just can't update anymore for some reason. That's something that we're going to have to check for because it's a possibility. It happens quite, you know, fairly often. I've seen a lot of computers that get stuck on one update and just can't continue anymore so uh, maybe that's more what I'm scared of that your updates will stop at some point and um, you won't get updated all the time or you'll get an update and it's gonna stay you know put there so every time you start your computer it says it's trying to install an update and it's not working maybe that's probably the most the, the thing that scares me the most much more than anything else in these updates but uh, you know I've been uh, enjoying watching these updates and uh, checking out how they work and one thing for sure look here at the upper left at the upper left when you look at your update history you'll be able to click uninstall updates and uninstall latest preview for those that are in the insider program so they do give us a chance if something goes wrong you can uninstall some updates there is a switch to do that so at least if something's not right after an update you can you know go to uninstall updates and it's gonna remove them from your computer so you do have a choice to remove something that's been updated at least so uh, that's my two cents worth but I think it's nice for another reason you know what I uh, was kinda tired that every second Tuesday of the month you shut down your computer and it takes like 25 minutes before it shuts down because there's like 25 or 20 updates or 15 updates to install and it's long now you know we get them one at a time so what happens is it's fast you just update and it's really fast so it's really nice so we already had the few first few security updates of uh, the insider preview here so uh, it's interesting to see how it works and it's interesting actually to see that it actually does it very quietly and most of us will probably not even see that updates are installing except maybe when you shut down or restart the computer so uh, you know I'm not scared like I said what I'm scared of is maybe if the computer gets stuck on an update but uh, we'll see um, Windows 10 is different it's different in the way that things work and of course I'll try to post videos if 
you know that happens of things you can try to uh, you know get yourself unstuck from an update that endlessly wants to install on your computer if you enjoy our videos why not subscribe to our channel you'll be informed when new videos are online if you have any comments questions anything about this video or any other uh, video or you know Windows 10 in general uh, it's fun to have your feedback so please feel free to uh, let us know and thank you for watching